Good morning and welcome. Our opening hymn is number 466 in your red hymnal, 40 Days and 40 Nights. Number 466, please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting, this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast, let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priest, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Our psalm is number 53 in your blue gather. Be merciful, O Lord. 
number 5-3. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. 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 Have mercy on me, God, in your Passion, blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and my sorrow, and cleanse me from all of my sin. Be merciful, O oh Lord, for we have sinned. Be second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ to be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become righteousness of God in him. Working together, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain, for he say, says, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
comes forth from the mouth of God. Glory to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. steal the scripture so I can reference it later. Welcome, everybody. It's beautiful to have a, a crowd here today, especially in the, in the midst of this, our winter storm. It's a I, I love Ash Wednesday because it's the day that draws so many of us together. There's this longing in our hearts to proclaim who we are, to receive the, 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 the beautiful message of the ashes that we're proclaiming that we are all in need of repentance, in need of drawing closer to the Lord. In the, in the first reading today, we heard from, from the prophet Joel, and there, there's this wonderful line. Did I grab the right one? I don't think I did. So, <laughs> anyway, so it's over there. So it's this line that says, Why should the nations say among themselves, Where is their God? It's this accusation from the nations looking at Israel, saying, Where's their God? They're, they don't act like they have, they have a God. Do you see, see how they're acting? They're acting like the rest of us. And isn't that sometimes how the world looks at Christians? They, they, they're acting like they're not following God. They're, they're doing the same thing as everyone else. It's one of the, the worst accusations we're given, and sometimes, not always, and sometimes the world is right, that we, we don't act like we have been given this tremendous gift that we have been given, the gift of our God, the gift who is, of God who has given his life for us, especially for us as Catholics, as we receive him every, day, every time we gather at Mass, the, the whole gift of his life in the Eucharist. We don't act like it. And so this season of Lent is a chance for us to claim him again, to allow our lives to be totally, or at least a little bit more conformed to this tremendous gift that we have been given. 
And so we're given uh, the, these beautiful practices during the season of Lent of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving that are, that are meant to be healing for us. You know, I, sometimes I hear people, actually most of the time these days I, I've heard, heard of how people are longing for Lent, we're ready for Lent. But of course sometimes these practices can be a little bit scary, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And our, our, our gospel today reminds us of what we are given in it. And it's hidden in the language. It's your Father who sees when you are fasting. Your Father who will repay you. Your Father who, who is with you when you close the door and, and praying in secret. When we are doing these things, we are receiving God we are receiving our Father more deeply. When we fast, we're, we're being encouraged to fast and to fast deeply from all of those things that we imagine are so necessary in our life. The, those things that we imagine, of course, imagine falsely that we cannot do without. Network news. <laughs> Or, the, or certain websites, or maybe uh, social media altogether, or certain treats, or, or whatever it is, those things we, we cannot live without. Those things, they, they fill our minds and our imagination, they cloud them, they, they give us a, a, a sense of, of power and importance that isn't ours, and when we let them go, it leaves deeper room for our Father to provide, provide for our every need. You know that so much of the news today you know, stirs together our anger and our anxiety, gets us worried and convinces us that we are the ones that are in charge and we have to do something. But if we're willing to let go of it, it gives space for our Father to live and to act to provide for our real need, to give us peace, to fill us more deeply with, with himself. We're invited during this season to pray more deeply. And I love the way our gospel puts it. When you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. You, you, we might imagine that that's just our, 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 our room in our house, and maybe it is, but it's also our inner room in our hearts where our Father is really living and really dwelling. We've been given that promise that God is there. And so we're being invited to pray far more frequently than we have. And of course, we can do it at any moment during the day, but to, but to choose now, choose now on this Ash Wednesday when we are c coming together claiming we, we are in greater need to spend more time with our Father who shares with us himself. And of course, the gift of himself is the Holy Spirit. It's his love, his wild love that is uncontrollable, who is really living deeply within us speaking to us. We're being invited to listen to him more deeply. And then, of course, we're also invited into the, the gift of almsgiving, which is, it is actually giving of our money. There's a scripture of, that says where your, where your money is, that's where your, that's where your heart is. So as we give our, 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 our wealth away, it's, it's so powerful for us. But it's any act of charity we're being invited to increase it all, all the more. And when we do it, when we share that love, especially with those who are most difficult to love, choosing to love them in, in this, during this time, one, of course, we're making manifest, we're, we're, we are revealing more deeply to the world, to the nations, here is our God dwelling within us. We're, we're making him more present. But we're also allowing our life to be more deeply conformed to who God is. God who is so generous with everyone. We're becoming like him. We're becoming divine by allowing that charity to flow through us. So of course, every one of us is going to choose to do this a little bit differently, this fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. But all of us are invited into it 
for us to receive more deeply this gift of our Father who wants to live in us and our Father who wants to be made deeply manifest in our world. This Ash Wednesday, in a way, this whole season of Lent is ours. It's, it's our time to shine. It's our glory. And we are ready for it. And so we, that's why we're gathered here this morning. Let's stand together. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these, as these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to words of penance, lend your merciful ears to our prayers and in your kindness pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants who are marked these ashes that as they follow Lenten observances, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our song for distribution is on page 280 of your Blue Gather, Dust and Ashes, number 280. Dust and ashes touch our face, mark our failure and our falling. Holy Spirit, come walk with us tomorrow. Take us as disciples, washed and wakened by your calling. Take us by the hand and lead us. Lead us through the desert sands. Bring us living water. Holy Spirit, come. Dust and ashes soil our hands. Greed of market, pride of nation. Holy Spirit, come. Walk with us tomorrow as we pray and struggle through the meshes of oppression. Take us by the hand and lead us, lead us 
us through the desert sands. Bring us living water, Holy Spirit, come. Dust and ashes choke our tongue in the wasteland of depression. Holy Spirit, come walk with us tomorrow through all gloom and grieving to the paths of resurrection. Take us by the hand and lead us, lead us through the desert sands. Bring us living water, Holy Spirit. Touch our face, mark our failure and our falling. Holy Spirit, come walk with us tomorrow. Take us as disciples, washed and wakened by your calling. Take us by the hand and lead us, lead us through the desert sand. Let's stand together and offer our prayers to our loving Father. For the church, that through repentance, fasting, prayer, and almsgiving, we may grow closer to God and bind ourselves more closely to those in need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may serve the people they represent faithfully and righteously, tirelessly working for the common good, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to violence, may God's peace and a spirit of reconciliation prevail, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are poor, who fast by necessity, because they cannot afford enough to eat, that our Lenten charity may provide them plenty now and forever, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have turned away from God for whatever reason, may return with their whole hearts and come to know God's grace and mercy in their lives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of our parish, for those who are sick or homebound, especially Dolores Wellens and Robert Zera. For those who have died, especially Kathy Harmon and Joan Toddy. And for Bill Chisel, for whom this holy mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, accompany us on our journey these 40 days as you accompany the chosen people in the desert as you accompanied your son on the road to Calvary. Hear these prayers we offer today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> our preparation hymn is number 282 in your blue hymnal, Hosea, number 282. Come. 
Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees do bend, though straight and tall. So must we to others call. The wilderness will lead you to your heart where I will speak integrity and justice with tenderness you shall our new life you shall sleep secure with peace faithfulness will be your joy Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. In the Lord's sacrifice, raise your hands. The praise and glory of His name. The pleasure of all of His holy church. <clears throat> As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord that through works of penance and charity we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 283 in your blue gather, Return to God, number 283.
turn to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Now the time of grace has come, the day of salvation. Come and learn now the way of our God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Return Source of grace and mercy, come seek the tender faithfulness of God. I will take your heart of stone and place a heart within you, a heart of compassion and love. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. If you break the chains of oppression, if you set the prisoner free, if you share your bread with the hungry, give protection to the lost, give a shelter to the homeless, clothe the naked in your midst, then your light shall break forth like the dawn. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Return to God with all your heart, Source of grace and mercy, come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Let us pray. (laughs) 
May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. A couple of very quick announcements. Our, our funeral that was scheduled for tomorrow for Joan Toddy, Toddy has been moved from tomorrow to Friday at 1 p.m. And also just a reminder for any of our adoration people who are here, adoration is canceled for tomorrow and for Friday as well. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. <clears throat> Pour out a spirit of compunction, O God, on those who bow before your majesty. And by your mercy, may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 467 in your red hymnal, The Glory of These 40 Days, number 467. Yeah.